I will guide you about your coming assignment which is on equivalent fractions. And in this video you are going to model different fractions to find their equivalence. So let's start and discuss what is in the assignment. Well, everything is mentioned in the instruction of the assignment that you can easily read and understand. And I am also recording this video so that you can be guided about this. So, uh, uh, first of all, it, uh, there is a task that you need to complete in your maths copy and then you will submit the pictures of your copy work in the assignment. Secondly, uh, there are some resources that I will introduce uh, after discussing the assignment with you. But after completing the written task in copy, you are supposed to master or complete the IXL skill and the code of the skill is ZJ2. And your teacher Ms. Masuma has recorded her video on this topic as well that you can also watch to be guided about the skill. But I am sure after watching, after completing the assignment, you will easily master this skill. The assignment has 10 marks for it and the rubric is attached that you can see what you will be graded for. And the due date of the assignment is 15 Feb. One of the very important thing that you need to see is the notes here mentions here. First thing if you have any problem in the assignment or in the skill then you can mention your confusion or problem in the comment section of the assignment before February 12th Friday. So that we can guide you again with, uh, with another video or of any other mean. Right? So please do mention your confusion in the assignment. Now let's open the assignment. This is your assignment. It is PDF when you will click. So it will open like this. Okay. Since the assignment is about uh, 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 equivalent fractions. So uh, it is given what are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent or have the same value even though they may look different. The fractions look different like one half and three sixths. They both look different but when you model them like this is one half I have divided the whole in two equal parts because the denominator is two and shaded one of it because the numerator was one. Similarly, this whole of the same size has been divided in six equal parts and three of them are shaded. And when I have done with this, you can see that both of these fractions have same shaded area, right? So these, uh, that means one half and three six are equivalent fractions, right? Okay. So. Uh, in this assignment you are going to model as I have modeled and you will pick the equivalent fractions together right so this is very important and I have mentioned in the assignment that how you can model the fraction normally students do not properly model the fractions for example when you are modeling one half so you will divide the whole in two equal parts because denominator is two and shade one of it right but and if you are share f and if you are modeling one third then you will divide you will not have equal parts like this and you will divide the whole in three equal parts what you have did wrong because you have chosen the different holes this hole is, is smaller than this hole but the right way to model fraction is that you need to take this holes of the same size this is the complete hole and this is the second complete hole of the same size. Now you will divide that hole or split the hole according to the denominator and shade according to the numerator. Similarly, you will divide this hole of the same size according to the denominator 3 and color according to the numerator. Then you will came to know where which fraction is large and which fraction is smaller right so this is the right way to model in your copy whenever you are modeling you should be using the holes of the same size now let's discuss the first task of the assignment which is exploring equivalence of the frictions right oh okay you have explored uh, you have read in above that you can find whether the given fractions are equivalent by modeling and comparing the shaded parts of them. 
right what you can do you can simply uh, for example if we need to compare one half and three six how we can do that we can simply model them like this and we can compare their shaded parts if the shaded parts are equal that means the fractions are equivalent right okay now it's time for exploration please don't forget to read the notes written here model all with all the complete exploration you have shown above as i have shown you need to uh, you need to show this complete exploration modeling and you will upload the pictures with the assignment for the modeling i have also given you the G applet of geogebra which is very useful if you use it you can easily and accurately model the fractions and how you can open this GeoGebra GeoGebra applet simply you will go on your browser you will write geogebra.org geogebra.org please look at the uh, spelling here so that you can easily open this now open you can also download the application of GeoGebra in your phone this is GeoGebra now the code you need to search is this a w b q n 4 m u and the, this is case sensitive the capital letter should be written capital in capital so uh, i'm just copying this code like this control c and pasting in this in this search bar above right just click and here enter so this is the resource that can help me to model fraction very easily and more importantly very accurately just click and here i have this resource right for example what is discussed up here for example let me model this fraction one half that means the numerator this is den means denominator so this should be two and this is new numerator which is one right so this is the one half which look like looks like and the second is three six for example so i will take the denominator six like this and i need to take the numerator is three so numerator should be three like this so this is three six and this is one half now if you look at these two models you can say that both the shaded parts are equal that means one half and three six are equivalent fractions and it is also given in this number line this arrow also and this arrow they both are they both are matching with each other that means they both are equivalent fraction that you can easily visualize this using this model isn't it very wonderful yes you can make any model you want and you can easily compare whether they are equal or not right so please do use this applet okay in the first class you need to just model you will model two thirds and six ninths and you have to then tell us whether their shaded parts are equal or not yes or no you also will have to show the models to us right and then do you think two thirds and six ninths are equivalent i have shown you what are equivalent fractions so after modeling you can easily identify whether they are equivalent or not and then you have to explain why you are saying that they both are equivalent and why you are saying that they both are not equivalent right this is a very simple task for you now coming to the second task in the second task what you need to do you know that to pick the equivalent fraction we have to model them right when if they are modeled and if they have the same shaded part so that means they are equivalent so you are given some fractions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and you need to pick the fractions which are equivalent to each other right so the simple concept you will just model them you can use this geogebra application to model them and you can compare whether the two are equivalent or not the note is here so you have to show the all the models of this fraction in your assignment as well so that your equivalent should be proof for example for example if you are saying that one half 
is equal to two fourths for example so you have to show the both the models that both models have same shaded part so this is your assignment i have explained how you can open this skill and this jojebra app please do use this and in the assignment if you have to do copy work you have to model everything in your copy let me open this it is written you have to uh, model all the fractions and write all the conclusion in your copy and then you will upload the pictures to the assignment and if you are using the applet as i have just shown to you like this applet so what you will do you will simply attach the screenshot of the model you can take the screenshots and you can upload in your computer and your mobile you have a sniping tool and you can took the snapping tool and you can just select this part and you will have this picture you can upload this picture to your assignment so i hope now you have understood what to do in the assignment after completing the assignment you will uh, you will master the skill zj2 and if you have any confusion in the skill you can watch miss masma's video which is also attached in the assignment one more thing if you don't want to use this code to open the link which is mentioned here if you don't want to use this link you can also click the attached link like this this is the attached link you can just click and the resource will be in front of you like this in a minute right so i hope you have understood the assignment the due date is 15 monday 15 february please complete the assignment and please do submit whether it is completed or incomplete and please mention your confusion before 12 february if you have any confusion so that we can guide you thank you so much my students please i am waiting for your wonderful assignments thank you so